Hey, how's it going? My name is Gilbert. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post uh, one blog for each day of the week, just for one week, uh, just to try uh, to see how this blogging thing works. So you're going to see Monday to uh, Monday to Sunday of my life, and see what I do in a normal um, in a normal week. I am a youth minister at a church in Fresno. Um, I have two kids and a wife. Um, my life is all about God and Jesus Christ and trying to minister for people, uh, minister for Jesus to people, uh, serving people. Um, so I've been doing youth ministry for about four, no, for about six years now. I uh, love working with teenagers. I uh, love helping them out. love showing them God's word and what God has in store for them. Um, life can be a little crazy, especially with my two little ones. Today is Monday, so it's going to be a cleaning day. It's my day off. Um, I was a full-time youth minister. I've been cut down to part-time because of the economy and uh, the funds that our church aren't coming in as well as we would, would have hoped. Um, so I am looking for a part-time job. And um, I woke up early this morning because I was cold. The fan was right in my face. And uh, so I just decided to get up instead of lay there freezing. Uh, so I woke up and had some prayer time with God. I don't normally have prayer time, or at least I don't pray as much in the morning as I would want to. Um, but I found some time this morning and I prayed uh, for a couple things. So that was good. That was a, a good a good way to start the day. Um, yeah. So anyways, today's Monday and it's going to be a cleaning day, I told my wife. Um, so check out some of the mess that our kids and our pets made in the backyard. Family's awake. Your robot. Someone must be yeah, watching Scooby-Doo. My kids woke up and they are looking for their dog. We cannot find him. The thing is, he's got to be somewhere in the house. That's why you don't like me. That's why I don't like you. You're messing things up. Marley, get out from there. Run down to your masters. Hey, what's this? Why are you crying? You, you guys need to be nice with the dog, okay? You guys can't squeeze them. How about if I squeeze you like that? Does it hurt? No. It doesn't hurt? You can't squeeze the dog, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm on my way to go deliver some letters. Oh, I forgot the letters. Cannot deliver letters without letters. Okay, now we got the letters. I should have not letters or bills. So anyways, I'm on my way to the post office, drop off some letters, and I'm also going to stop by Walgreens to pick up some pictures from our recent youth trip um, to Rock and Water. Rock and Water is a place in Coloma, near Sacramento. We took about, uh, I took about six teenagers up there, and we enjoyed uh, hiking through the mountains. Um, we got poked by a couple of thorn bushes. Those thorn bushes ironically had uh, berries on them, so you got a bad with the thorns and a good with the berries. So yeah, we went out there to Rock and Water and we spent the day hiking through the river, jumping off some rocks into the water, uh, swimming, and just had a really good time up there. Also had some quiet time with God, so uh, I'm going to develop those pictures so that I can post them on my Facebook and allow my students to check out... Um, some of the memories that we'll have from that trip. Pictures were not ready. And guess what? I forgot the stamps for the envelope. If you're a Christian, 88.9, uh, also 91.1, and one of my favorite stations is Talk Radio. Uh, a lot of preaching on 99.9. All this is FM, by the way. Okay, 88.9, let's do the song. Chattanooga earlier this year? Yeah, I had the chance to do a workshop. No music on right now. 
There's a guy in the bike lane. I mean, in the car lane. <laughs> and he's just running the red arrow. I don't know where he's going. He just went straight through the red, red turn light. All the way to the other side. <laughs> now he's crossing the street. Looks like he's doing something too. Maybe he's blogging on his bike. He didn't pay attention. Alright. Got my stamp envelopes. And <clears throat> headed back to the post office. So tomorrow I'll be studying um, our next study for our Wednesday night Bible study, which is called Sex and Dating. A uh, really hot topic for teenagers. A lot of teenagers, uh, a lot of Christian teenagers fall into temptation uh, when they're dating. And so we're trying to help prevent some of that, trying to help. Uh, you know, when you teach a study, uh, you hope that when the situation comes up that you taught about in a teenager's life, that hopefully this study will pop up or hopefully some kind of danger sign pops up in their mind saying, you know what, I heard about this somewhere. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I remember learning about this. So hopefully some of our teaching will help prevent uh, sex before marriage, will help prevent um, them getting in an unhealthy relationship. There's a garbage bag on our door. Which usually means that there's some type of poop in here or something too smelly to go into our inside garbage bag. So my wife usually puts it on the door letting me know throw this out or I'll kill you. You guys had him in the backyard. He's a cat so he can jump and climb and everything. So are you sure he's in here? Where? Found him? What in the world is he doing in the bag? Who put him in the bag? No. You guys cannot put, this is animal torture. No, 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 get him out, get him out. Hmm? Put him down. Hmm. You gotta get him out. You guys like, took him captive. And he's purring. Why is he purring? Do you like being tied up in a bag? It's not something to purr about. Yeah. You only purr when you're happy. Be free. You. Who put him in the bag? Timothy. Careful. Did you put Buddy in this bag? Huh? Yeah. Why? No, no, no. Look at me. Look at me. Don't put him in this bag. You can't put him in there. He needs to walk around. He needs to be free. So we're going to throw the ball around. My wife has gotten really good at throwing the softball and uh, catching the ball. It would go hard to her now. And actually, she probably wants me to practice so hard to her today. And Kaka? Oh, we gotta pick that up. You wanna pick it up? No. Huh? No. I have to pick it up. Can't leave it here. Let's see, do it. You wanna do it, team? Yeah. No. Okay. Fold it twice. Let's see. Okay. Yes, do it. And see, I'll pick it up. <laughs> and you will throw it in trash. Move, Marley. There's a spider on tea. What kind of spider? Green. Green spider? Incredible Hulk spider. Big one or little? There it is. On your head, T. <laughs> I don't see it. Kids are just out here sitting down, relaxing with their cat. They are drinking their Gatorades. You guys like Gatorade? Good? So they're toning down. They just went on a big episode of disobedience right now. They were not listening, and you guys both got put on timeout, huh? Because mm -hmm. you guys weren't listening, huh? Were you listening? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> You're a good girl? Yeah. You better be a good girl. What's your name? Timothy Salcedo. Timothy Salcedo. Good job. How old are you? Um, five. Five. Good job. And... And what's your sister's name? My sister's name is Mama Salcedo. Mama Salcedo. 